Hey, this is Kent with Move Up Endurance Coaching. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a barbell circuit. All right, I'm going to go through the four main movements that I like to use with the barbell complex. I'm going to start with it in the rack position, just a little bit higher than knee height, but you can also start with this on the floor if that's your preference. To begin, walk up, get your thighs within an inch or so of the barbell, and then reach down and grab the knurling, that's the grippy part on the barbell, just about shoulder width apart, maybe a touch wider. Get tight, lift it straight up, and take one to two very small steps back. Number one, I'm going to start with a Romanian deadlift or a stiff legged deadlift. So I'm going to hinge at the hips, drop down until I feel a good stretch. I don't want to go so low that I start to feel my back bend or I lose control. And then return to the start, really squeezing my hips at the top. Come down, feel that stretch. Reverse it. I want to feel this in the hamstrings and the glutes. There's three. I'm going to do five reps. Four. Maintaining control every time. I'm just warming up right now. There's five. Next, I'm going to go into a barbell bent over row. So I like to have a little bit wider hand position here. So I'm going to spread out just a little bit. Hinge down just like I did on that Romanian deadlift. And then do a row. So I'm bringing this up towards my sternum. Really squeezing my shoulder blades hard every rep. I want to keep my torso tight, focus on just those shoulders and back muscles moving. There's five. I'm going to return to that start position, bring my hands in, and then do a little hand clean and get the weight up into a front rack position. Now, if this isn't comfortable for you, you can bounce it over if you have the strength and control to do so on your lower back and do back squats, which is our next movement, or front squats. So I'll do three of each. If you're going to do the front squat version, you want to keep that barbell on the front and keep it in that rack position. This is challenging for a lot of people when it comes to wrist mobility. So you can also crisscross right here. It's just a little bit more difficult to get out of it when you're done. Cool. So. Figure out what's comfortable for you, stick with that. Don't force something if it doesn't work. After your five squats, you've got a couple more to do. You're going to jump into a shoulder press. So from here, you want to get tight from this top rack position. Maybe take your hands a touch wider and press straight up. One, two, looking for a nice tight torso. I don't want to lean back a ton, but just enough that I'm pushing through my shoulders and feeling controlled through the movement. When I'm done, I'm going to put the bar, drop back down to my hips, lock it in, and that's one round of the barbell complex. This was Kent with Move Up Endurance Coaching, and thanks for watching.